angry jurors in the Jody Arias death penalty retrial, which ended with a hung jury for a second time. And death row is no longer an option because of one holdout juror who they believe may have been persuaded by a made-for-TV movie about that case. ABC's Ryan Owens with the very latest now. Jody Arias avoids Arizona death row by a single vote. And this morning, three of the jurors who decided her fate are showing their faces for the first time in an exclusive interview with ABC News. They say coming back as a hung jury was heartbreaking. It was probably one of the most devastating things that we had to do. It broke my heart for the family. This is going to stick with us the rest of our lives. The three who ask us not to use their names take us inside the jury room during five contentious days of deliberations, considering whether the convicted killer should live or die for the savage murder of her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander. A different jury deadlocked on the same question two years ago. This time, the jury was split six to six when they first got the case. But after days of deliberations, 11 wanted death. By the time I made it into deliberation, I was pretty, I was pretty confident that I was going to choose um, the death penalty. Uh, in the beginning of the trial, I was kind of leaning more towards life, but more towards the end, I had definitely knew that I wanted for the death penalty. Yeah, same here. I was, during the trial, I was pretty much back and forth. And then as we went to deliberate, um, I, was, I was leaning more towards a death penalty when, when deliberation started. As soon as we started to deliberate is when it really became clear that um, the death penalty was where I was at. There was just one holdout. I don't want to point a finger at her and say she came in there with, with an agenda, but I'd be lying if, if I said it didn't feel that way. From the very first day that, uh, you know, that she had chose life right off the bat, um, I think I pretty much knew from that point on that it wasn't going to change. Um, I just got the feeling that, and so for me, it was extremely frustrating. And I know that a few times, like, I kind of had to apologize for my behavior because it was, you know, knowing that you are trying so hard and it just wasn't going to change anything was extremely frustrating. The jurors say the lone holdout wouldn't say much, except that she had seen the Lifetime movie, Jody Arias' Dirty Little Secret. She really expected to see this horrible monster based off the fact that she had seen these movies, but she saw a girl. I really didn't trust her opinion at that point. This morning, police say the woman who so far has refused to comment is receiving death threats after her vote saved Jody Arias and broke the hearts of Travis Alexander's family yet again. For Good Morning America, Ryan Owens, ABC News, Dallas.